Rick Scateri Associated Press The 201718 NBA season is still young, but there is already talk of some big names potentially being available on the trade block. Since the season has been filled with plenty of surprises already, it fits the theme that there are possible blockbuster trades to be had, which could help shift the balance of the league in the process. With some teams looking to move disgruntled players and others looking for a spark by acquiring them, here is a rundown of the top players rumored to be involved in trade talks currently. Eric Bledsoe It is no secret to anyone that the Phoenix Suns are working to trade Eric Bledsoe, which means the NBA's other 29 teams may be working from an advantageous position. Even so, there is interest in Bledsoe on the trade market, and the Detroit Pistons are a team that has inquired about dealing for him, according to Mark Stein of the New York Times. Stein added that a trade involving Bledsoe would likely feature guard Reggie Jackson and other pieces going to Phoenix. For ESPN's Adrian Wojnarowski, however, the Suns would prefer for a third team to get involved and take on Jackson's contract. Last month, Suns general manager Ryan McDonough sent Bledsoe home and made it clear he intended to trade the guard after Bledsoe tweeted, I don't want to be here, according to ESPN's Chris Haynes. When Bledsoe plays, he is an impact player with the ability to provide a big-time scoring punch out of the backcourt. LeBron ISNT worried, but maybe he should bend but superstars are cruising by scoring milestones. This Lakers rookie is ready to take over the NBA. LeBron James Jr. is more than just his famous name growing up. Damian Lillard tells us how he improved his jump shot as a kid growing up. The game that showed Isaiah Thomas he could be an NBA star growing up. How Kyrie Irving became one of the league's most lethal scorer in Buffalo Africa. Game 2017 Embiid, Porzingis more battle in Johannesburg and Buffalo stars are all in on drive-by dunk challenge. The summer's hottest mem Alonzo Ball proves he's a big baller by winning Summer League MVP Best and Worst Moves of the NBA Offseason So for winners and losers of the 2017 NBA Draft Jason Tatum NBA Draft 2017 Scouting Report Grade for Celtics Rookie Grading the Jimmy Butler Trade for the Chicago Bulls Josh Jackson NBA Draft 2017 Scouting Report Grade for Suns Rookie Lonzo Ball NBA Draft 2017 Scouting Report Grade for Lakers Rookie Pick 1 Mark L. Fultz NBA Draft 2017 Scouting Report Grade for Sixers Rookie the Golden State Warriors have secured Secured their place in NBA Finals history Warriors and Cavaliers scuffle LeBron James goes off the backboard and slams it down last season. Bledsoe set career highs with 21.1 points and 6.3 assists per game to go along with 4.8 rebounds and 1.4 steals. He has appeared in just three games this season, but his production dipped in those contests to 15.7 points, 3.0 assists, 2.3 rebounds and 1.3 steals. The 27-year-old veteran is in a difficult situation, but he can score the basketball when called upon, and he would be a great fit in Detroit. Bledsoe would provide the Pistons with a bit more consistency than Jackson and a running mate for Avery Bradley, but due to Jackson's hefty contract, it could be difficult for Detroit to make something work with a Phoenix team that is looking to shed salary and rebuild. Jalil Okafor for since enjoying a strong rookie season with the Philadelphia 76ers in 201,516, center Jalil Okafor's role has diminished significantly. Okafor has appeared in just one game this season, averaging 10.0 points and 9.0 rebounds per game. Rather than seeing what he can do in extended playing time, Philly has rolled primarily with Joel Embiid in reserves such as Dario Saric and Amir Johnson in the front court. While Okafor is hoping for a buyout or trade, the 76ers are unwilling to cut ties with him and get nothing in return, according to Keith Pompey of the Philadelphia Inquirer. Per Pompey, the team with the most interest in Okafor is the Boston Celtics, as they have an $8.4 million injury exception that would allow them to take him on. Okafor was selected with the number 3 overall pick in the 2015 NBA draft out of Duke, and he put up 17.5 points and 7.0 rebounds per game as a rookie. Those numbers dropped to 11.8 points and 4.8 rebounds last season, but he can still be an effective offensive player in the right situation. LeBron ISNT worried, but maybe he should bend but superstars are cruising by scoring milestones. This Lakers rookie is ready to take over the NBA. LeBron James Jr. is more than just his famous name growing up. Damian Lillard tells us how he improved his jump shot as a kid growing up. The game that showed Isaiah Thomas he could be an NBA star growing up. How Kyrie Irving became one of the league's most lethal scorer in Buffalo Africa. Game 2017 Embiid, Porzingis more battle in Johannesburg and Buffalo stars are all in on drive-by dunk challenge. The summer's hottest mem Alonzo Ball proves he's 
is a big baller by winning Summer League MVP Best and Worst Moves of the NBA Offseason So for winners and losers of the 2017 NBA Draft Jason Tatum NBA Draft 2017 Scouting Report Grade for Celtics Rookie Grading the Jimmy Butler Trade for the Chicago Bulls Josh Jackson NBA Draft 2017 Scouting Report Grade for Suns Rookie Lonzo Ball NBA Draft 2017 Scouting Report Grade for Lakers Rookie Pick 1 Markel Fultz NBA Draft 2017 Scouting Report Grade for Sixers Rookie the Golden State Warriors have secured their place in NBA Finals history Warriors and Cavaliers scuffle LeBron James goes off the backboard and slams it down while Al Horford plays some power forward and center, the Celtics don't have much to speak of when it comes to pure centers. Aaron Baines is really the only one on the roster, and although he has made five starts this season, he is likely better off as a bench contributor. Boston is in the mix, near the top of the Eastern Conference, and adding a big-time, interior scoring threat like Okafor could go a long way towards solidifying the Celtics as the class of the conference. Mario has on jam much like Okafor HASNT been a great fit in Philadelphia, small forward Mario Hezonia has struggled to find his footing with the Orlando Magic. The number 5 overall pick in the 2015 NBA draft is a supreme talent, but his production to this point in his career has left plenty to be desired. According to Michael Scotto of Basketball Insiders, the Magic were previously in talks with the Sacramento Kings to send them Hezonia in exchange for shooting guard Malachi Richardson and a second-round draft pick. Hezonia entered play Friday averaging just 3.9 points and 2.0 rebounds per game this season. By comparison, Richardson was putting up 5.2 points and 1.0 rebound per contest. LeBron ISNT worried, but maybe he should bend by superstars are cruising by scoring milestones. This Lakers rookie is ready to take over the NBA. LeBron James Jr. is more than just his famous name. Growing up, Damian Lillard tells us how he improved his jump shot as a kid growing up. The game that showed Isaiah Thomas he could be an NBA star growing up. How Kyrie Irving became one of the league's most lethal scorer in Africa Game 2017 Embiid, Porzingis more battle in Johannesburg and Buh stars are all in on drive-by dunk challenge, the summer's hottest Memelonzo Ball proves he's a big baller by winning Summer League MVP Best and Worst Moves of the NBA Offseason So for winners and losers of the 2017 NBA Draft Jason Tatum NBA Draft 2017 Scouting Report Great for Celtics Rookie Grading the Jimmy Butler Trade for the Chicago Bulls Josh Jackson NBA Draft 2017 Scouting Report Great for Suns rookie Lonzo Ball NBA Draft 2017 Scouting Report Great for Lakers rookie pick 1 Markel Fultz NBA Draft 2017 Scouting Report Great for Sixers rookie the Golden State Warriors have secured their place in NBA Finals history Warriors and Cavaliers scuffle LeBron James goes off the backboard and slams it down while Hazonia is an incredible athlete that HASNT translated to the NBA level for the 22-year-old Croatian. Richardson was a late first-round pick last year out of Syracuse, and while he HASNT registered eye-popping numbers either, he is a workman-like player who could be a good rotation fit for an Orlando team that has surprised thus far. The Kings are in rebuilding mode, so picking up a player with Hez on his talent level without having to give up a ton would be a logical move on their part. Regardless of whether the Magic and Kings can work out a deal, Hezanha's days in Orlando could be numbered as he struggles to earn playing time over the likes of Evan Fournier, Aaron Aflalo, Terrence Ross and Jonathan Simmons.